man. <laughs> yeah, so for that. yeah, what's up with that? I mean, it's, I'm from Central Garland. <laughs> <laughs> you a boy? <laughs> I don't know who I would be. I think uh, I kind of like Spider Man, you know? He's yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Um, definitely, like red suit. definitely my colors, though. Oh, geez. <laughs> I don't know. That depends on how many beers I've had. <laughs> Probably the red suit, but I, I like the uh, I like the whole nobody knows who he is. You know, keeps it low key. I guess they all do that, really. Um, and the spider web thing. I mean, that's kind of that's hot. I like that. And he got to kiss a really hot chick in the movie. So, you know, that's always a beautiful thing. They never let me have a girlfriend on the show. I don't know why that is. I'm too ugly. Yeah. 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 So, all right. Well, now that I've got some girlfriends, it's, uh, but uh, yeah, probably Spidey. He's cool. I'm going to answer in a tasteful manner. I would want to be the Red Ranger, the real one, not the imitation cheap rip off they bought from McDonald's. It's a low blow, man. Ouch. Come on, dude, be Batman, dude. I mean, come on. Batman rules. Yes, he does. See? See this person over here that I can't even see? So they're all must be true. I want to be Matthew the Green Ranger over there from London, man, from England. <laughs> Say hi to Matthew, everybody. He's a good guy. And the rest of his crew. I don't know them, but hey. Are there any English superheroes? Bale. What about the guy from the Avengers, Bale. right? That guy. That guy's Avengers, yeah. Uma Thurman and uh, Ray, Ray Fines, whatever. That's a good guy. I got a question over here. No, no, no. Tony, you have an answer. Oh, Tony, you need an answer. What? Oh, me? Beer man. <laughs> I don't know, I like, uh, I actually was always partial to Aquaman, I don't know why. Yeah. What? <laughs> I like scuba diving. So. I'm not sitting next to him anymore. Whenever Tommy left the show, I mean, how did it feel when you guys left? That's a really good question. Uh, we don't talk about that. <laughs> that's a really good question. I'll let them start. Well, they make you wear ankle bracelets, first of all. Yeah, the home in weekends is kind of like house arrest. Um, it's kind of shady, you never know what's going to happen. I guess when I left the show, um, I left with Walter Jones, Tui Trang, uh, the Black and the Yellow Ranger. And uh, there was a lot going on in the press, and the show was absolutely ginormous. That's an official word you can quote me. And, uh, how to spell it is up to you. <laughs> Um, it was it was a crazy time. I was kind of looking at doing some other things, and it was it was time for me to move on. I come from a from a marine father, retired police mom, uh, all family servants, public servants, and that's kind of where my heart lies, which is why I do fire and rescue now. And the real stuff. Uh, it was a little different. Yeah, I was telling the guys, I, uh, you know, yesterday I was on duty 24 hours, or the day before I came out here, and. Uh, Ran a heart attack, you know, full code at a, at a fire station, and today I'm back here in front of cameras and, <laughs> and fans, and it's as it feel feels different, and it felt really different then. Uh, two different lives, but it's really cool, you know. You guys, each each of those places have a really uh, a really deep spot in my heart, and I love them both, you guys, and and what I do. Here, so yeah, it's cool. I mean, I was there um, for, you know, ever. Well, forever, <laughs> ever, and sweep up after the, you know, well, I'll well, see you later, I'll just get up here all night, sweep it. You got your teeth, you got your teeth. <laughs> you know, I anyway, so I was there for a good six years, man. You know, picture, picture now, six years ago, and think of all the water under the bridge, and all the people that came into your life and left your life. And those people were other people that are here. You know, and I had known that I was going to leave for something upcoming, so it was kind of like watching a, not a train wreck about to happen, but it became very sad towards the end. Uh, and especially when I had to make the decision, because I left to go to college, you know, I made that decision. And Paul Schreier, who was my, my, uh, my tumor, I think, <laughs> pretty much, 
you know, so, so, <laughs> so I know Polly would have to be flying without me, so to speak, and that was kind of, that was really tough. Um, but Polly said, look, dude, you want to go to college, you want to better yourself, go do it, and uh, I'll send you money like I'm your mom. <laughs> and he did, actually, for a few years. Anytime I'd be in town, I'd be at Polly's house, like he was my mother, eating his food, and he'd send me some money every once in a while. I love you, mom. <laughs> <laughs> So that was that was really sad to leave Power Rangers and home at the same time. Next. <laughs> uh, well, for me, like uh, when I left, I was wanting to uh, run my karate school. I had a karate school, USA Martial Arts, up here in LA for a long time, um, and uh, so that's why I did that. But uh, as I'm back here and seeing everybody again, I was like, man, I kind of wish I would have stayed on and finished Turbo. You know, that would have yeah, been cool. Right. Yeah. 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 So, sorry about that, guys. Everyone. <laughs> In hindsight, you know, I, I, I wish I would have stuck on longer, but you know, at the time I felt like I wanted to run my school and it was hard, tough to do both at the same time, so I made my decision and I don't regret it, but at the same time I kind of wish that maybe I had stayed on. Uh, you know, the, the thing is, is there are some, like, uh, some negative things about leaving the show, you know, politics and that kind of stuff, and you know, I don't, I don't, don't really like to talk about that stuff too much, you know. I, I, I know that it was it was scary for me because it was like, hey, you know, there's nothing guaranteed, you know, like, I heard all these promises like, oh, we've got these things going for you, we're going to do this show, and then, you know, once you leave the show, then it's like, who are you, you know, and so there's a lot of that that kind of happened, so it was scary, you know, it was exciting because it's like, hey, it's like a new adventure, but then at the same time, it's like, man, I don't know what's out there, really, you know. I mean, I, before Power Rangers, I was at Taco Bell and something. You know, so it's a whole, it was a whole different thing for me. You know, I was uh, fresh out off the boat. You know, it's just, uh, yeah, it was just very different. You know, and scary. But but you know, I, I feel good with what I did. You know, and I, I think I think leaving and having to go through a lot of crap kind of like made me stronger, made me better. You know. And I, you know, Narvi and I hung out for quite a while until he freaking took off. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Joey, I gotta go. What? Yeah. No, but, but no, I totally respect what he had to do. He's got, he he's got his house. education. Yeah. But yeah, it was, it was scary, but I, I think, you know, I'm sure we all like, are happy with what we did, you know. Um, Power Rangers was a good moment, I think, for you know, a good time for all of us, really. Can't ever take it away. Right, yeah. It's truly on top of the world, man. Um, uh, my perspective is a little different in that I was with, since I was the development guy, I, I was with the show for a year and a half, two years before it ever premiered. Um, so I, I left at the end of the third season, so I was, I was actually with the show five years. Um, and I had pretty much done what I could do, and as you mentioned, the politics, and there was other, you know, when a show becomes a big hit, suddenly it's not easy to make anymore, because everybody wants to have a piece of it, and it very politically charged, and it becomes less fun. So I left to go do, to start a movie division within Saban, and we did one movie. And <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so it was a little, I, I kind of never felt like I left, even though I did, because I was still working in the same place, but then suddenly it was gone. And, um, it, it wasn't sad, I was ready to go and do, and do the other things. So, okay. yes. No, I can't find a woman crazy enough for that. <laughs> We've all looked. Yeah, if you want to see a crazy woman, just look back there. Look at the uh, beautiful brunette chick that looks like uh, Audrey Hepburn. That's a person that is galloping insane because she let me slip one of these puppies on her. 